Andy Katz here for NCAA Digital and March Madness Men's Basketball with my prediction for what the Men's Basketball Selection Committee will do when they reveal the top 16 at 12.30 Eastern Time on CBS on Saturday. Number one seeds, Gonzaga, Auburn, Arizona, Kansas. In that order, Gonzaga to me is the safest number one. Kansas leading the best league in the country in the Big 12. Auburn, SEC, Arizona, great wins, leading the Pac-12. Two seeds, Purdue, Kentucky, Duke, and Texas Tech. Purdue, leading the Big Ten at this moment in time. Kentucky with that huge road win at Kansas. And you say, oh, well, Duke beat Kentucky way back in November. What have you done for me lately? The bigger win, true road win for Kentucky at Kansas. And Texas Tech swept Baylor, beat Kansas, beat Texas. They deserve to be a two seed. Three seeds. Baylor, great quad one record, even though they've been a little inconsistent here in the Big 12. Have that win over Villanova, which we'll talk about here momentarily. Wisconsin, great record away from the Cole Center. Neutral over Houston. True road wins over Purdue, Michigan State. Villanova. Villanova gets the road win at Providence. Played a great schedule. Purdue, UCLA, Baylor. Didn't win those games. But the Wildcats, essentially, with that road win over Providence, I think they're a three seed. Providence, the last three seed. The Friars have a win at Wisconsin, way back in the non-conference. And overall have done a great job in the Big East with only a couple of blemishes. This Providence team certainly looks the part. And by the way, they also have a home win over Texas Tech. Four seeds. Illinois. This one gets a little tenuous. The Illini did lose at home to Arizona. Got swept by Purdue. So Illinois needs to do a little bit more if they want to climb higher. Tennessee. Great win over Kentucky. The Volunteers, though, also have a win over Arizona at home. I think that's what keeps them in this last group of four. Ohio State, massive win over Duke. They beat Wisconsin. Both those games were at home. Neutral over Seton Hall. Those are their highlights. They certainly could add to that here in the Big Ten. And UCLA, this was a tough call. I like Alabama because they have that win over Gonzaga and Seattle. You could go Houston, even though they've struggled a little lately in the American. UCLA did lose to USC and at Arizona. So two road losses. But at home, beat Villanova and beat Arizona. They also did lose to Gonzaga, so they played a good schedule. So those are my top 16 We'll see if I've got all 16 teams, maybe a different order. But one thing is certain, pretty convinced the selection committee is going to go with Gonzaga, number one.